Hey guys, what's going on? Adam is Prime here, coming at you with a quick video as for Isla Pena tips and how to get to that five star rating. So the first thing that I noticed uh, whenever you were just not getting into the island is you have this one large exhibit and you have a rather decent amount of funds. So what I chose to do is is just to produce a, a very large carnivore just to boost your rating up immediately. People will want to come see it. Everything is already connected and you'll be alright. Also, in the very beginning, what is going to be very key in order to ensure that your profit stays r green rather than in the red is to make sure that your storm protection is covered throughout the vast majority of your park. Again, all the radius has to do is the circle has to barely touch the building that you have as well as to go along with the storm defense every time a you get a weather report that a storm is going to come in I would immediately activate your emergency shelter just out of precautions because you will get a, a very large storm that will show up really big and red on this screen here and it will just come through and it will break multiple fences and it will just set your dinosaurs free and you don't want the guest lawsuits to hinder you in the very beginning so as you can see here as I page through or as I scroll through the island you don't have very much room at all and in the island description before you even start so you can use that to help you at the same time because I'm assuming this is how the game works is you have a smaller island so it means that you are gonna get fewer guests Hence why I only have one hotel on the entire island still with five stars. And as well as with the fewer guests, you have a lot less space. So make sure you pick and choose your attractions carefully. What I tend to do is I like to do the clothes shop, the bowling alley, and the restaurant. Because if you look at your stars for those attractions... You see this one maxes your shopping with a little bit of fun. And this one has a little bit of fun and tops off the rest of that food and drink that your restaurant isn't going to be able to hit. So there you get four, full, full four stars just in a matter of three buildings versus trying to build five or six. Also with the less space and less guests, as you can see here, my dinosaur count is only at 23. Now that's actually a lot. I added more dinosaurs after I got my 5 star rating just due to some of the missions on here requiring you to create dinosaurs and put them in. But I believe I was at 5 stars whenever I had under 20 dinosaurs. Collecting asset. Sorry about that. I had to move him real quick. As well as, so in the very beginning the biggest tip I can give you guys is patience because you start off with a lot of money and if you go into the green by building that large carnivore and get some high rating on it and everything else like that because you also as soon as you get to this island you're gonna have to start producing all of these the basic park needs at the same time and the operations aren't cheap by any means And then that rolls into how you have to place your dinosaurs so close. And with the fact that they have to be so close, make sure you're monitoring their grassland and forest. If they have a high tolerance, meaning that their blue fills up most of their most of their bar, then they're going to be some good dinosaurs. So like if you look inside here, I have seven dinosaurs inside this small exhibit. And a good one would be of the Ceratops family. So you have the Taurosaurus. And some triceratops, as you can see, barely peeking over the top of the forest. Now, if you're struggling to understand how to read the dinosaur st statistics, I'll put a card in the top of the video right here. So that way, you guys can further understand it from my explanations. Also, you need to be very conscious of your power usage. 
throughout the park because you're going to have limited amount of space in order to build. As you can see here, I still have to have my research center deactivated just out of the fact that I don't have enough power to go around. And then another thing that will that is crucial to your five stars in the last tip is going to be the monorail at the entrance coming to both parts of wherever you choose to put your attractions. All right. Thank you very much for watching. And if you guys would like to see a sort of like a, a time lapse of me building parks into from the very beginning up into five stars, I'm not going to post like a four hour long video, but I can certainly make a video of a, sh a condensed version into maybe 15, maybe 10, 15 minutes of me just talking over what and how I managed to get parks into five stars. Alright, thank you all very much for watching. I hope this has helped you out. See you at the next one.